Hi guys and assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my new blog post, blog post 21. And in this blog post, I'm going to discuss about how we can utilize the Zoom slider uh, option in the uh, provided by the Power BI. So let's start. So before coming towards this, like uh, uh, what is actually Zoom slider and how we can actually utilize it? Why do we need that? So uh the thing is like in past if you wanted to drill into any section of the data you would have to use data sliders uh, diff uh these are another type of slicers but the problem a problem with these slicers were like uh these can only cut down the value or the slice down the value with respect to x-axis but with the help of zoom sliders you can also get the data or visualize the data with respect to the y as uh, y axis so it's a very fairly a good ease of value that is actually provided by the power bi uh, product so in order to access the zoom slider you need to go to the visualization and then uh, you uh, sorry uh, you need to uh, go to the format section of your uh, uh, visualization and then you need to click on the zoom slider. It's the fourth option in the stack bar chart. So here you will see that you have four options by default. By default, it is disabled. So before moving uh, into deep uh, into this, uh, I need to explain one more thing here right now. For the stack bar chart, the relation between the x-axis and the y-axis, both values should be numerical and there should be some kind of a correlation between them, right? So uh, if you will do that, you will actually get the y-axis option. Otherwise, if you will put any dimension over here on the y-axis, uh, you won't get the zoom slider option. Uh, a y axis option in the zoom slider. So, and for that, you will actually get the y axis option. So, uh, first thing, if you don't want to utilize the y axis zoom, zoom slider option, but you would like to use the x axis, you can turn it off. So, the, so the slider would be not a uh, zoom slider won't be available over here. Then again, if I really don't want to use the x-axis as well, I I will also don't get it. So since we need to understand it, uh, I am actually going to enable both of these values. So let's see like what will happen if I would like to see the data between thousand and fifteen hundred dollar. So I just only need to uh, grab it and move the slider horizontally towards my right and here you go i am on the 1000 side now i really don't want to see the 3500 i would like to zoom more into the 2000 section so here oh, sorry 5 1500 so here you go so values will be automatically changed the interval will be automatically changed with respect to the uh, zooming of the slider. So you, it will be automatically changed, right? So now I would like to see uh, with respect to the y-axis. So let's move it to like uh, 5K. And towards the 10K. So it's automatically changing. So here's the approximated value that I have zoomed into. So this is how you can actually zoom in, in into the Y st uh, stack bar chart uh, using the uh, st uh, zoom slider. So if uh, if you would like to if you would like to see the slider labels along with your axis. So you can actually click on the slider label and then you will actually get the value. Uh, when you will click on the slider label, 
when you will turn it on you will get the labeling values over here so it is actually right now it's showcasing like where do, does the does your uh, sliding values actually uh, stand so here i can actually opt this is a real thousand and this is the real 1500 previously i was just assuming like what is actually happening and right now it's 10k over here and this is 20k over here but i would like to see the data between the 5k and 10k so i'll zoom it out zoom in uh, more along the y, uh, y axis so here i go So uh, right now, I really don't know what is happening over here. Like, I really don't know what is the exact value. It's still an appro approximation of the value. So I can actually opt for the slider tool tips. And I will do that. And after that, I will slide, oh, look, it's exactly at the 5K right now. It's not, uh, it's now at the 4K. Now it's, it's, it's on the 5K. So it means like when you will click on it, you'll grab the sliding slider point to uh, scroll up. It will give you the exact value where it is actually standing um, on Y axis starting point. Same goes with the ending point. So I can actually here I look, I am scrolling down and it is giving me the exact value. Like, 8k so here you can actually easily adjust with respect to your requirement you can actually zoom in we use utilizing the zoom slider and you will then get that section which you would like to report on your dashboard right so i hope so you have understood the capability of the zoom slider you will utilize it with respect to your need in your office for your users to make them happy so uh, as always, please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share my YouTube channel, Yasser Fazal. And uh, as always, please spread the knowledge. Thank you.